In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can set up a smart URL or a smart link for your music. If you're not a creator of music, I would highly recommend you to check out my link tree video where I'm showing you how you can create a landing page on your website for all of your all of your links. But if you are a musician, a producer, or an artist then uh, that releases music to the streaming platforms, this video is certainly uh, for you. So you guys may have seen it. A lot of artists nowadays are using smart links for their music. It's basically a landing page that includes all the links uh, to all of the streaming platforms. Uh, so if you click on like the Spotify link, it will take you to that particular song on Spotify. So it's a great way for an artist to share their new release, but it's giving people an option. It's giving them that option to select the platform of their choice. Uh, so I, I personally love using uh, these links and these platforms simply because, um, I mean, sure, we can create this on your website, kind of like we did with Linktree, but these platforms, they are very simple and easy to use. You're basically just copying the link and pasting it. There's nothing to really build out and they're including a the logo for that particular platform. So instead of it just saying Spotify, you have the Spotify logo. So I love that it's already styled. I can just go in, add my links and move on. Uh, so I certainly want to show you guys how you can set this up. Uh, so yeah, I mean, let's just go ahead and just get right into it. So this particular uh, page here, this is smart URL.it and it's for a song uh, for one of my artists. Uh, what I wanted to show you, uh, that's real unique about this particular page is that not only, uh, do, can you include the links to all the different platforms, but you can also include a video up top. So if you're promoting a single and then you have a video for it already that you're promoting with the release, you can certainly share that video as well as all the platforms down here below on one page so when you're sharing and promoting the song you're only sharing one link that's going to uh, give them that option to consume it in any way possible so this just to, in case you're wondering this is a youtube link so this will count towards your views on youtube as well uh, so yeah definitely keep that in mind but let's say you don't have a YouTube then you would just have this bottom section down here this is what where I'm going to walk you through on how to set up so uh, yeah so like I said this is smart URL what I'm gonna do is log into the account I'm already logged in basically uh, when you log in or create an account what you want to do to set this up is called pivot P I V O T pivot so you want to click on this option here and it's going to take you uh, I already have one created so I'm gonna just go to my smart URLs uh, but if you're brand new you know you just click on pivot and it's gonna take you to a page that looks very similar to this one here so I'm gonna go ahead into the page for that particular song so we can look at that and while that's loading I just also want to say that there are other options out there smart smart URL is just the one that I personally use but there are other uh, platforms out there that's very similar to this all right so here's the uh, you see where it says pivot so yeah this is the page so when you uh, create your smart URL page Right here where it says product title, this is where you would include the title of the song or the, the release. Under prior, product title two is where you would include the uh, the artist name. Uh, don't worry about the product image because it's going to pull that image uh, when we include all the links down below. Uh, for social media, I leave this blank. Uh, so then we scroll down and then here are all the links for each platform. So you would have to uh, manually add these in I recommend doing this just one time and then when you're creating another link for another song you can just duplicate this page and then swap all the links out and all the titles and whatnot but um, yeah so as you can see here Spotify and then here's the Spotify URL this link is going to take a person to that particular song on that platform the same thing with Apple Music iTunes title Google Play 
Amazon Music, SoundCloud, Audio Mac, and then YouTube. All right. So what you would do just to show you how this would look, you would add a new re retailer. A box would pop up up here where it says select retailer. This is where you would select the platform. Uh, this could be, like I said, Spotify, YouTube, or whatever. Uh, you can search it. I just typed in you. Um, and then YouTube would come up, and then you would just select YouTube, and then you would include the link down here where it says, where are people going? This is where you would paste the link. Um, and then, yeah, you would do that multiple times for all the various platforms. Uh, once you're done, you want to scroll down a bit here. A preview would show up over here on the right side, as you can see here. And then this video that we have here, this is added over here on the left, where it says customize pivot page. You want to go down to audio, add audio or video player. We're going to click on that. And then I have video player enabled. I have that checked. And then down here where it says YouTube URL, I just included the last end of the YouTube link. That's all they need, just the last end of it. So your page is like youtube.com slash and then the code. This is what they need here. And then it'll automatically pull it up on this page. So once you're done, you want to review your preview page here. Make sure everything looks correct. If it looks good, you scroll down. This is where you would create your custom URL for that link. So my rule of thumb is to uh, make this link the name of the song title. Um, so it's smarturl.it slash this song is called Add It Up. So I have add dash it dash up. So that way it's easy for me to remember and, and the artist to remember. Um, so yeah, I just use that as a general rule of thumb. So once I type that in, I scroll down and I could click uh, save smart URL right here or up here. And that is it. That is simply it. Now I mentioned that there's other options. I certainly want to show you guys another one. I mentioned this one here in my uh, guide for the MLC uh, is listen to and the web address. Let me minimize this here so you can see it. The web address for it is li.sten.to. And I will include this in the description below. That way you guys can click or copy and paste it into your browser. Uh, but this one is listen, uh, listen to, super simple. Um, it pretty much just does the same thing. Uh, you can add the artwork, uh, song title, embed a YouTube video as well. Here's your link. You can add another profile and then create your link and then you're done. Boom. Uh, here's what it would look like. Here's just a screenshot of what that would look like there. Uh, you have the video up top and then all the links. And then, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. And then it'll give you a link uh, that you can share on all of your platforms when you're promoting the record so like i said certainly use it it's definitely easy to uh it just makes uh streaming and, and sharing your links super easy because not everyone is on the same platform you may have people that listen to music on spotify you may uh, you may have some that's on apple music and title so it's always good to have this one link that you can share and people can choose how they will want uh to listen to it so uh yeah i hope this was helpful if you have any smart urls or just smart links in general that you want to share certainly drop it down below um that way we can we can check out your smart link page uh, so I hope this was helpful and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.